All right, Scott, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Scott Burrow here, aka The Vegan Beast, and I'm back with another video, back on Good Money's channel, and I love being here. And today is gonna be a very special video because I got a special guest with me. Noemi. <laughs> yes, yes. And Noemi is about to show us something really important, especially all my guys that work out. Yes, guys, listen, we have to start stretching. There's no, ain't no way around it. Posture is everything. If you're not stretching, then you can put yourself in a very bad position where you're gonna injure yourself. You're not gonna be able to complete your workouts at a very efficient rate. And this is why it's very important to stretch. So the way means gonna show us some basic stretching that we can do to protect our joints and to protect our, over um, our overall body so we can increase the frequency at which we work out. Because yes, we work hard, but we wanna work smart. Yes. Let's go. Yes, and just to drive that point home, a lot of people focus a lot on intensity when they should be focusing more on frequency. So as opposed to saying that you have to stretch 30 minutes to an hour a day, which I do because I'm a yoga teacher, Scott, for example, would benefit from less than 10 minutes a day of light stretching as long as he's doing it daily, if not um, twice a day, especially since you work out so often, just to make sure that he's properly uh, saturating his muscles with blood flow and nutrients and oxygen so that he can better do his exercises uh, without being cold right you want to be warm when you do your exercises so we're going to come over here i'm going to show All right, you so uh, what are we doing now what, what part of the uh, stretching is this is this before or after so this is going to be before the workout you before want to do more after. dynamic stretching before the workout just because uh, static stretching research has said that will actually decrease your strength levels but when you do a little bit of dynamic stretching it allows more blood flow to go to your muscles so that you can perform better during your workout. Okay. So we're gonna come over here. All right. You're gonna take your left leg on the, yeah. But you're actually gonna bend the knee, right? And then you're gonna place your hands on top of your knee. You're gonna come down. So you stretch the ankle here and the knee and the hip flexor. So you have three points of contact that you're stretching and then you're gonna come back a few times. So this is what makes it dynamic. You're gonna be moving back and forth. Right, static means where you're staying static and still. Dynamic means that you're moving back and forth, so you're bringing more blood flow to your muscles. Okay. I suggest doing about 10 of these. Not going too crazy. How does this feel? Like? Woo, it feels very relaxing. It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all gotta stretch, man. Oh my man, I'm Let's do the other side. So you always wanna do on one side to the other side. And then when you're here, I want you to ask yourself, how does the left feel different from the right? Just so that you're aware of your body. You're creating that mind-muscle connection when you think about those things. So you want to make sure that your mind and your body are connected as one, as opposed to your mind being somewhere else and your body being in one place. So just being mindful right before the workout as well will help you perform better because when you're doing your pull-ups, you're doing your squats, you're doing your dips, you want to be able to feel the correct muscles. And if you're thinking about something else, you won't be able to feel those correct muscles. And then you won't be able to prevent an injury, for example. All right, let's do one more. Perfect. Now we're going to come over here towards the pier to stretch our upper bodies. And this exercise is going to stretch your lats. Okay. So your hands are going to be... Your hands are gonna be about shoulder width distance, if not a little bit wider. On um, something that's about your belly height, your rib cage height, I'm gonna place your hands here. Walk your feet back as your chest comes down. So you're gonna be feeling this all along your lats, right here, Good. and then you're gonna come back forward. Okay, so you're like in a push-up position, very elevated, and you're gonna do this back and forth. Okay. And you wanna make sure that you're breathing while you do. Girl, you got me working out here, man. Woo! Woo! Yeah, let's do two more. Relax. Perfect. <laughs> All right, one more for good luck. One more for good luck. One more for good luck. <laughs> I think also everybody should be able to touch their toes. So, Scott, let's show them how much you can touch your toes. Perfect. So, what I like to do is roll up and down in this position. Scott, drop your head down. Scott, Scott. Okay. So, you're going to drop your head, and then you're going to roll all the way up. His head is going to be the last thing to come up. So, he's articulating through the spine. 
and he's rolling through each, and then place your hands on your lower back. Push your hips forward and lean your chest up. Drop the hip back. So he's getting some extension in the chest. He's stretching all these muscles. So when you do a lot of push-ups and dips and muscle-ups, you're working your chest muscles, you're working your interior delt muscles, and you're working your core, obviously. So you're stretching everything from the front, including your neck. And then he's gonna roll all the way back down. All the way back down. So I would do like three of these before the workout. You don't wanna be here the entire time, right? It's not a yoga class. You just wanna make sure that you're warming up your muscles in the correct way so that you can get a good workout. Injury free. This is so relaxing, guys. Yeah. I'm missing out. Just make sure that you drop your head down because you want to stretch everything up here all the way from his calf muscles into his hamstrings, his lower back, and his neck. Right, if you turn around right, and do the same thing, he's stretching his Achilles tendon, his calves, his hamstrings, his glutes, and then turn around, or come over here. His lower back is also stretching, and if he drops his head, He'll also stretch his trap muscles right here. So when you're doing a lot of pull-ups, these muscles tend to get tight as well. And that will carry out up into the neck area. So if you feel a lot of headaches and stuff like that, stretching can help alleviate this as well. Oh my gosh. Good. Anything else? Woo! How does that feel, Scott? It feels very liberating, especially for an athlete like myself. I do a lot of compound movements, pull-ups, push-ups, squats, dips, you can name it. I, I put a lot of tension and a lot of stress on my body. So this feels very liberating. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Anything else? Feels good, feels good. Yeah, so um, let's do another one for the upper body. Yes. Um, what I like to challenge my students to do in my yoga classes. Let's come over here. Okay. So in yoga, we, all sh we actually call this prayer pose. Right, but we're gonna do yes, but you're gonna do that behind your back. So we're gonna turn around. Okay, okay. But we're gonna start off nice and simple though. So you're just gonna grab your elbows. Okay. So this is gonna stretch. It's gonna stretch your triceps a little bit. But turn around again. It's gonna stretch here, the front of the shoulder. Right. This is what is stretching, and that's the very simple way to stretch um, this part of your muscle. This is more like the static towards the end of the workout where you're just holding it for a period of time just to bring um, more flexibility, more range of motion to the shoulder. And then turn around again. So now we're going to do uh, the reverse prayer position. So what you're going to do is have both palms touch each other with the fingers pointing down. Okay, But you're going to try to keep your elbows leaning towards you. Yeah. Try to lift your hands a little bit more. Okay, so turn around again. <laughs> yeah. This is like the second level. So oh the first God. one we did was like first level, you're first starting now. And turn around. Let's move back a little bit. Okay, so you can see this is how you want your hands to be. Right? And then the third one is the most difficult one. I don't expect him to do this, but let's see. I want to be surprised. So he's going to do the same thing, but now the fingers will be pointing up. So this one's going to incorporate not only the front of the shoulder, but also your forearms, right? That if you're gripping the bar a lot, you're working your forearms a lot. So you want to make sure that you're stretching them a lot. So um, <laughs> try your best. I'll help you out a little bit. <laughs> Yo, my lad. <laughs> I'm struggling, y'all. No. So this is what you want it to look like. Not, right? not, not, oh, awesome. Oh, that's I'm actually pretty it. good. Yeah, I'm that's actually it. pretty good. Okay. okay, so now try not to arch through your lower back so much. It'll be nice and draw in your pelvis. Yeah, and then try to pull your shoe. Oh, I'm trying, yo, I'm trying. So man. this is what it might look like, and that's totally okay, right? This, so this is this is what years of yoga practice helps, and I actually can do a little bit better. But if you're starting off, you can just grab onto your elbows, and you'll get the same benefit. And then if you feel like you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can place your hands here. Right? And then you can flip it again and try to move it there. So it's something that you can work towards for sure. Right. Right. And then um, 
this definitely helps me, especially since I just got the muscle up and I want to make sure that I'm not getting any injuries now that I'm a beginner. And I'm Wait, hold on. She she just said she just got the muscle up, so she know how to, you know, go over the ball. Yes. Watch out for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when you're doing your muscle up, you're engaging a lot of muscles at once and you want to make sure that you're properly warming them up and you're also um, increasing your range of motion so that you're not just muscling through things, you're not just using pure strength. You wanna also have your body work for you. So if you're flexible enough, you don't have to be as flexible as a contortionist. You can do things with ease as opposed to trying to fight so much. You can just do your push-ups, your pull-ups, your muscle-ups, and it feels like butter. You feel like you're just going up on the bar and coming back down, and you don't feel any cracks, you don't feel any uh, unnecessary pain. To you. Okay, any more stretches for this or? I think we're good. I think we're okay. good. Yeah. And All there right. you have it, man. Just some basic stretching that you can do before your workout to make sure that you prevent injuries and perform at the best optimum level. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for having us. This is Scott Bernhardt. Thank you. M-E-V Henry yes. on Instagram. Yes, No yes. And as you, all, as you guys know, all the links will be in the description below. Thank you, Good Money, for having us on the channel. And y'all better get the stretcher, man. Peace. Thanks. Thanks. All right. <laughs>